Hello, Leo. Thank you for joining me. We are going to do your weekly general love reading for the week beginning June 27th, 2022. I will look at your energy and the situation, and then I'll look at the other person's energy and the obstacle and a possible outcome. Of course, outcomes are all depending on whether, you know, you can work through the challenges. And everybody has challenges in a relationship. But that's how we grow. We don't meet, usually we, we meet people because we have some things to learn. <laughs> Not just to feel good, but people come into our lives for a reason, I, I believe. And we learn things from them, and they learn things from us, and it helps us to grow, be more, be more conscious. Okay, so, King of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Okay, so for you, You are approaching this situation um, more in a headspace uh, with the King of Swords energy. You know, the kind of person who is Mr. Logical, and that doesn't mean male, it just means the king. Uh, you know, confident, mature. Uh, you tend to think things over first before reacting with your heart which it's not really a typical Leo energy Leo's really um, are you know just this they exude this uh, brightness about them especially when they meet somebody that they really care about and it's usually not that you don't think about it but it usually comes more from a heart space uh, when you at least first get into a relationship. But you're being more logical and maybe a little less emotional. And the Four of Swords, uh, we'll have to see what's going on with, with you because you're, you're taking a little time out here to rest. So let's see. Let's see why. Okay, the Fool and the Empress, Major Arcana. So, in the past, uh, you definitely took, you know, a, a big chance with this person and You felt like the this partnership had uh, the potential, you know, just unlimited potential. And you wanted, you wanted to create, or actually what I'm feeling is that you, in your mind, the person that you were attracting, um, you wanted them to have this, this empress energy, somebody who was uh, very comfortable in their own skin, um, you know, kind of the just uh, easygoing and somebody who was kind of laid back and uh, made things look kind of easy, really. Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. So, your situation with the Six of Swords, you're thinking of walking away if you, because your pride's hurt. Your pride is hurt over something and you're thinking of walking away. 
your person has their back turned to you they're they're ignoring you and for a leo uh when your pride is hurt you are not showing up as your full self so you are actually the ten of wands tells me that you're you're really exhausted you want to give up and Kind of go it alone. Just say forget it. But let's let's see what else. Let's see what else we have here. So for your person, we have the Queen of Cups, which is a, you know a really beautiful, nurturing, healing, supportive, um, very relationship oriented person. But they're they're definitely more water energy than than the earth energy that you that you um, you kind of projected onto them actually with the Empress card. So this person has really beautiful energy, and they have the Nine of Pentacles, so they're definitely very self sufficient. They are hardworking and, and no wonder you are attracted to them. I mean, who wouldn't be? But the obstacle for you guys is the, the devil energy and the nine of cups. So with the devil... Somebody, do you feel like you are giving to this person and they are being greedy? That they just keep wanting more and more and more of you. And that's why you're showing up as the King of Swords. Like, I can't give any more to this person. I don't know what else to do. I love them. And, you know, they came in with this... Empress energy and this nine of pentacles and they seem very self-sufficient but it seems like they need a lot of my time and they need a lot of my energy and I feel like when they tell me you know I want to spend more time with you I want to do things together with you um, you feel like you're giving it your all and that they don't appreciate it you know, if they would just appreciate it, then you guys would be happy is what you're thinking. You would have this Nine of Cups. So definitely this person feels four of cups right now. They're, you know, they're sad. They, they're not fulfilled. You feel like walking away and going at your own. Uh... And, and that, I mean, you have a lot of major, let's see here, you have the devil, you have the fool, the empress, you have several major arcana cards here, so this is definitely a big cycle, a big time in your life where you are learning lessons, and you know, there are challenges that come up, like I said in the beginning, and, and I don't know why I really said that, but now I see, um, you know, sometimes we project on to people what we think that what we think they're going to be like based on maybe their work ethic or how successful they are in the world. And um but you know, people have different needs and of course we want to have boundaries, but there's there is potential here for a nine of cups. There's potential for this happiness to ultimately, you know, turn into the uh, long-term, you know, family and, and commitment. And there's a, there's a lot of good things that can come out of this. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. Okay, so Knight of Wands. So you, I mean, the two of you definitely 
can celebrate and have a good life together. You can have a good relationship. Even possibly get married. But somebody's going to have to... Somebody's going to have to... Um, kind of act before they think, you know, this, this is, this is what this kind of energy is. And so what I'm, what I'm feeling is that, um, you're hurt and tired, but you're going to have to use your king of swords energy and you're going to have to swallow your pride. And if you want a future with this person, and I really believe you do, then you're going to have to, you're going to have to take the charge. You're going to have to go towards them and you are going to have to put away these preconceived notions that you had about them and just learn to look at them through the eyes of love rather than being so analytical about the whole situation. And then the two of you can, you know, celebrate. And if it works out long term, this is what you get. Thank you for watching.